Hey, I'm Matt. Today I'm back with a blade versus blade challenge. This time we have CMT ITK Extremes versus Diablo brand. These are extremely similar in price as well as features. So I've got 152 Diablo, 152 CMT that I'm gonna use on the table saw. It's a good combination blade. I run combination blades 90% of the time, maybe 95% of the time. And then on the miter saw, we're gonna test both 12 inch 96 tooth on each version. All four blades are the same curve and the same teeth count. So the CMT 10 inch 50 tooth runs about $35, give or take a few dollars. And then the Diablo is a very similar price, $34, $35 on Amazon. Taytools.com is where I buy my CMT blades. Super fast shipping and uh, I just like Mike, he's a good guy. I prefer to run a high tooth count on my miter saw for most cuts because it gives a cleaner cut, a finer finish. If you go lower tooth counts in the 40s and 50s, you're gonna get a rougher finish. So I actually like to use an 80 to 96, which these are 96 tooth counts. That's what we'll be using here. These are similarly priced at about $65 each, give or take a little bit, which is a really good price for a high tooth count like this. If you're interested in any of these blades you see today, there'll be links in the description below to all of them. One thing I'd like to point out is this video is not sponsored. I paid for myself for the Diablo blades to use. I was sent these ITK Extreme to try out and I've been impressed with them. I like them a lot and I think you would too if you'd give them a shot. I've got CMT blades of my own that I've purchased in the past that I'm keeping and using and I'm gonna pay these forward. And I got several of them on a 200,000 subscriber giveaway we're giving away, which is already passed, so you missed it but you need to hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified of all the new content so you don't miss any future giveaways. Let's put these to the test and find out which one brings you more value for your dollar. So to keep this as simple and fair as I can, we're using my methods here, we're gonna cut four different kinds of wood. We're gonna cut some spruce, followed by a two before, just a common yellow pine two before. And then after that, we'll do a hard maple. It's just a regular everyday hard maple. And then purple heart, for the hardest wood we're gonna be cutting. What I'll do is I'll do a Diablo cut, and then a CMT cut, Diablo cut, CMT cut. That way you can see the difference. Cut and spruce, Diablo. Now this is the cut we just made. It's fairly clean. I may have went a little too fast. I'll slow down and see if that makes any difference. So that time I took my time a little bit, a little more fair assessment. So just plunging right through, and it did come out much, much cleaner on the cut. It does have a little tear out there though on the bottom side, even though I have a zero clearance tape on there. So keep that in mind on the Diablo, and we'll see what the CMT does. It actually felt like it glided through just a little better. There's a tiny bit of tear out there. It's very minimal. As you can see it flaking just a little bit, and then right there at the bottom corner where it was cutting it off. But for the most part, it's very similar to the Diablo, I think. This is just a common yellow, southern yellow pine two before. We're gonna cut this with the Diablo 96 two. Just a tiny bit of tear out there, not much, not bad at all. If you sanded that over, you'd never see that. Same thing on this one. Uh, really good clean cut on the common pine two before. Now we're going with the Southern Yellow Pine 2 before with the CMT. It's extremely clean. I see just one little fiber right there, that's it. Next we're gonna cut hard maple. I'm not sure if you can see that right there, but it's got just a little bit, I mean a tiny bit of fraying. I wouldn't even call that tear out. You'd never see the wood fibers torn there. That's a good clean cut on hard maple. Now we're going with the hard maple with a CMT. That is clean, clean. There's no fraying, no tear out, nothing. That is clean. That's a super clean cut. Now let's try a piece of purple heart. This will be the hardest wood we're gonna cut today. And so this is the Diablo 96 tooth. There is some tear out on the back of that. It's actually a little surprising. I'll be curious to see if the CMT does the same thing. The bottom is extremely clean. 
It's just the back where that blade was exiting, it's a little bit of tear out. Most likely if I adjusted the blade here, removed this stop, pushed it back, and then made the cut, it may make a difference by where the blade is exiting. Let's try it. It made a little difference, it really did. Not much, but a little, it's not frayed as bad. So as far as, oh, was I talking loud? As far as the blades go, blade versus blade, Diablo versus CMT, there's negligible difference there. The only thing that I noticed was the CMT blade did seem to go through the wood a little smoother. That's my personal observation. It did feel sharper, just the touch of the blades felt much sharper. And there was a little difference in tear out on the spruce, as you saw, and a tiny bit of difference. They, I think they actually performed very similar on the hardwoods. You know, day to day use, I don't know how long one would let stay sharper than the other one, but the CMT did feel sharper, whatever that means. This cuts the same wood on the table saw with the 52 combinations. The CMT table saw blade is very similar to the miter saw blade where when you lay your hand on it, it's sharp, especially the edges of those teeth. Man, the thing could really cut you if it slipped or slid on you. So if you're gonna be handling these very much, gloves would probably be advisable. Hey, this video is brought to you by 731bullworks.com. Go check out our online store. We have easy to follow build plans to help you make awesome projects. So now we're at the table saw, I've installed the Diablo and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting. What I'll do is cross cut first, both the CMT and the uh, Diablo blade cross cut on a table saw, 52 combination. And then I'll we'll come back and do some rip cuts on all of these and see how they all perform. So I got in trouble a couple of blade videos about not having the blade up high enough because it wasn't coming down cutting. So it is raised a little higher than you may see some people cut. So that's the Diablo cross cut on spruce. It did tear out a little on the back. There's a tiny bit of fraying on the bottom. Nothing you couldn't get away with. Simple sand would work just fine. One bit of advice, safety advice is don't use a fence like this to jam up your work up against that fence and then make your cross cut. That'll jam up between the blade and your fence and actually cause some kickback and kickback can injure you. Be extremely, extremely cautious with that. Power tip. Cross cut, CMT. Those teeth have a mirror finish to them. You can see it actually, I don't know if it's the light or what, but it was glistening in the light. So the bottom, there's zero tear out on the bottom. Good, smooth, clean cross cut. There's a tiny bit on the very back side uh, where it broke out, but I think a sandpaper would have cleaned. Matter of fact, I've cleaned that up with my finger now. So very, very, very good cut. So now we're going to common yellow pine cross cut with the Diablo. So that was a cross cut on the Diablo with pine and it did exceptional actually. There's no tear out at all. And uh, it's worked really well. Cross cut a two before. There's no tear out on this one. Uh, cross cutting a piece of pine, southern yellow pine. Very clean cut on the CMT. Now we're going cross cut hard maple with the Diablo. The maple with cross cutting, there's a little tear out on the back, but it did really well, I think. Cross cutting maple. Good clean cut with the CMT on maple. And there's no tear out there, just a good solid cross cut. Cross cut purple heart with the Diablo. So the bottom and the back, there's a tiny bit of frame back there, but not much. I think you could get away with that cross cutting with the Diablo 50 tooth. Did pretty well. Cross cut purple heart. Zero tear out on the bottom. There is a little fraying on the back, very minimal actually, but there was a tiny bit there. Now I'm gonna try ripping all of these uh, we just done with the 52 Diablo. A rip is a cut along the grain down the length of the board. Cross cut is across the grain, hence cross cut. Truthfully, this is where a combination blade should shine more than any is on that and it did, it did very well uh, on a rip cut. Rip cut on spruce. Man, 
is like butter, butter. Just silky smooth, no tear out, no tear out on the backside. It's just a good, good cut. Rip cut this two before. Diablo rip cut. Uh, there's a little, you see with a blade, that's where I stopped, I think. CMT, no tear out at all. You can see where I accidentally cut it a while ago, a little too shallow. There's a little spot there where I stopped. It actually hung right here on the back of my throat plate. It needs to be raised just a microscopic amount, but otherwise a very good cut. Rip cut on maple. Good clean cut on maple. No burning, nothing like that, so that's a good sign. CMT on maple, it's near perfect. I don't know how you could get any better than that. No tear out anywhere, good smooth cut on the face. Just good for hardwoods. Ripping Purple Heart. Maybe a little burn, not bad. You can sand that off. Good clean cut with a rip cut. So the CMT cut, good smooth cut, no tear out at all. Can't ask for no more than that for a $65, no, a $35 saw blade for a table saw is good. So straight out of the package on the table saw, the CMT versus Diablo, I see no difference. They're, they're basically the same blade out of the package. Where you're gonna notice a difference, I think, is the long-term use of each blade. I think the CMT blades will last much longer. The carbide's a little thicker uh, and they just feel sharper. I think, I think that matters and I think it's gonna matter on the long-term use of CMT blades. So both these blades cost the same, essentially, whether you're getting a 12 inch for your miter saw or a 10 inch for your table saw. The difference is these five things. The CMT has this chrome finish, whereas the Diablo has the Teflon finish. This chrome finish goes through the wood much smoother, especially when the blade starts getting a little bit older and heat has started building up. This Teflon, you'll notice, will get scarred and scuffed and you'll start seeing it. That starts creating a little bit of drag in your cuts. The teeth are actually thicker, as I showed you before, on the CMT blades. So those actually hold up better over time and on hardwoods they cut better, especially when you start getting a little bit of pitch and they start dulling just a little bit, which all blades do. These will last much longer that I've seen. Uh, these are made to be resharpened from the factory. The resharpening system is on the back and uh, it tells whoever you're getting to resharpen them exactly what to do and what settings to use to sharpen these properly. These blades are balanced from the factory so they run smoother or are supposed to run smoother and they also, what I've noticed is they have these little J's. You see those little question mark looking things on there? Those are actually to help with heat expansion and contraction, which helps them stay balanced while they're spinning. And these are designed to run a little bit quieter. You see these little orange squigglies? Those are sound dampening built into the blade to help them run quieter, smoother, all around just a good blade. I highly recommend CMTs myself. So I have links to both these blades depending on which ones you prefer. I prefer the CMT line of blades and I have been using them for months. If you like this video, Blade versus Blade, you're gonna love the CMT versus Force Blade comparison I did. Click that box so you get that big old virtual fist bump. Also the Diablo versus Force Blade, which stirred up quite a bit of controversy in the industry. You can click that box and go watch that one. Thank you.